Hello there, so this might seem like a really unusual location to make this film and yet it feels incredibly appropriate because at the moment in a sense we're all going through a bit of a dark tunnel aren't we in terms of the world situation so I want to share with you something about what I've been doing because I find that in times when there is so much that we don't have any direct control over it's great to work with what we do have the control over. So one thing I've got the control over is I've got the control over what I say and what I think. So every day, as I'm sure you know, I do my mantras. And when I finish doing my mantras, I then go into my gratitude and I just give gratitude for everything I can possibly think of, which I've got a reason to be grateful for. And it starts off as a really big things like the earth, which, on which I'm standing and the cosmos, the solar system the sun and it goes out into the galaxies the intergalactic void cosmic mushroom, mycelium superhighway it goes out into the other, other galaxies like the Andromeda galaxy the universe, the source of all that is connecting with my ancestors with gratitude to my ancestors for giving me life and for my siblings and for my descendants for whom I'm a part of in my family line and extending out to all those I know and all those I love and this is all a really great thing to do and I feel really good from doing it no matter what might be going on outside but there's another reason that I'm standing in this subway tunnel is because what I've become aware of which is kind of totally obvious is that the very tiny minority of me is my conscious mind and the majority of me is my subconscious mind and about six weeks ago I'd reached a point where I realized that every day when I was dreaming I'd wake up and my dreams were, excuse my language, they were bloody boring I was experiencing a succession of really bloody boring dreams and I thought well what's all this about then? And it occurred to me, there's one thing that I simply have not been doing. I have not been giving any gratitude whatsoever to my subconscious. Now if my subconscious is so much more significant in terms of dimensions and capability and capacity than my conscious mind, this is like a major oversight. This is like, a, a, I wouldn't call it an aha moment, I call it a duh moment. So, okay, so you have only been ignoring my subconscious for like my entire life pretty much, except for when it get, might gets mentioned in something I read or something I watch. So it hit me really hard. So what I decided to do that evening, I decided what I would do is I'd get down on my knees and do three Korean bows in my subconscious mind apologizing for completely ignoring it my entire life and then I gave gratitude for its existence and I appreciated it and then I went to bed and you can guess what happened can't you because during the night I had one of the most amazing dreams I had for months which was really inspiring and uplifting and full of interesting information and you can guess what happened. Yeah, I thank my subconscious mind every single day now. That's added to the list of the parts and the beings that I give gratitude for. And I have consistently interesting, significant dreams. Some of them are memorable and some of them are not. So the one I had this morning was not at all memorable in terms of the detail. But as I woke up in the morning in the dark and I just lay there, Hmm, okay, so what was going on in that dream? Hmm. A lot of emotional repression. Ah, emotional repression. And I thought about what's going on in the world today and all the challenges that people are facing, people's lives are in danger and losing their lives in a certain part of the world. And I thought, yeah. The subconscious is like the 90%. And the conscious mind is only a 10% of that. And all the things that's going on in the world, which we might have a lot of feelings about, that's really affecting all of us. 
and so it is and so I send my prayers out to all those that are suffering in these times in these places where people are doing completely insane things because let's face it part of being on this planet is to accept that some of the things that go on in this planet are completely mad and utterly insane and in many ways it could be described as a mad world some of the things that goes on and I'm giving you a link in the description to one of my favorite youtubers who's called JP Sears and I really enjoyed and appreciate his take on what's going on in terms of the I'll call it the dodgy shit that's going on out there yeah so I found that really inspiring very grateful for that so that's in the link as well but what I'm suggesting to you is if there's something you're never giving thanks for do like me give thanks that part that part of yourself if it's yourself do it someone else give thanks to them and f just become very curious and very interested and find out what actually happens to you because I tell you what, I am so grateful for my subconscious mind for pointing out the things that I'm not consciously aware of and for giving me some really kick-ass dreams which are thoroughly entertaining and I absolutely love. And that's why I'm down here in this subway just after dawn on the Friday morning on the 10th of September 2023. All the love to you.